All right, so obviously I checked this one. It's kind of low. There's not much on it at all. We take it, we lift it up. What's up guys, Sleeping Collectibles here, and we are in Fayetteville, North Carolina today. Actually gonna go into the Fayetteville Target, uh, have a look for some toys, guys. Uh, got that new Batman Gold label that just dropped, the animated series one. We've got our Hunchback Leonardo, we got our Mummy Michelangelo's, we got that April O'Neil, Neck of TMNT, horror movies in full effect. Still looking for AEW, still looking for Obi-Wan Black series. Looking for uh, Macho Man WWE Ultimate. I've got a lot of things on the old hit list, so, uh, Let's get started, we got work to do. This might be the busiest Target I've ever been in. There's so many people at the front of the store. It just took me like 10 minutes to get through. Oof. All right, it's not often that the both sides of the figure aisle are in the same aisle. That's kind of cool. Uh, got a bunch of Canes, a bunch of Hulk Hogan's, Mr. T's, uh, Lance Archer, we got Matt. Looks like a Ty Conti back there. Rey Mysterio, uh, a bunch of Landos, C-3PO. I do have some Galen Erso, some Tika. Uh, Riva, Migs, Costco, we have an, look at that, that is cool, a Migs Windu lightsaber right there, uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron, no chases for me today, got some dinos, some T-Rexes from the Hammond collection, over here we've got our Dr. Fate, Hazmat Suit Batman Cyclone, oh, what is that, look at that guy down there, holy cow, that thing's beastly, there's a couple of them there, a little Metroplex action. Uh, got our Snake Eyes model kits. Uh, no windowless Marvel Legends. Looks like we just have some Thor Love and Thunder and our Bone Breaker Wave. Got some Maggot up here. Thor, there's Darwin. More Love and Thunder. All right, don't see too much over here, honestly. Kind of looks like business as usual. We might slide on over to NECA Collectibles and see what's over there. That's where a lot of the newer release stuff was anyway. Oh, here's a little... End cap, no chase. Tika, some Orlando's. All right, let's wander around. We're gonna see what we can come up with. All right, wandering over here, we did find new WWE Elites. We've got Series 93, we've Carrying Cross, we got T-Bar, look at that. New Seth Rollins, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We got Cesaro down there. AEW star Cesaro. I really like Dominic, D Dominic Dijakovic. I really wish we'd go back to that gimmick. Uh, I think he was much, much better in that position. And I really like this Ricky the Dragon pants. Paint app looks really good. I believe that one might even be the chase, honestly. I have to look. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with elites lately. Let me just look around to see if there's any more Rickies. There are no more Rickies. There's Raquel Gonzalez back there, but no more Rickies. I think that one's the chase. I'll have to look it up. I'm going back here to NECA Collectibles. All right, guys, we're back here. Anything new? We do have our Ultimate Mummy down there. That's kind of new. We got our Pop Pins. See our Roger Rabbit reaction figure. Bunch of Funko Pops. Uh, Little Lapras, Lady Tremaine, Blacklight Sylvie. We've got our Throg. It wouldn't be a Sleeping Collectibles toy hunt without a little Otis action. I do not see any of the new TMNTs, though. Do see Frank, see Wolfman, see some Spawn back there, some Jason, but none of the TMNT ones. Bunch of Groot, there's a Moon Knight. Bunch of Moon Knights. Yeah, I think we're good at this target. We may, is that a Polka Dot Man? What? Oh God, that is a Polka Dot Man. This thing was clearanced out to like five bucks forever ago. I might take it up front and see if I can't get it for $5. Let's find out about that. I don't see any NECA TMNT at all though, so we're probably gonna go ahead and just roll out of here. Go to our next stop in a little bit. Might get some Popeyes for lunch. I'm hungry. All right, guys. You just have to be nice to your sales associates inside of Target. I'm just saying, $5 polka dot, man. Let's go. We got more Targets to hit. Let's get it. All right, guys. Second stop on the trip on the way home. We're in Wilson, North Carolina. That's a Target behind me. I'm sleeping collectibles. I'm gonna go inside that Target and uh, hopefully find some new toys. Like I said, we're looking for those NECA TMNT Universal Monsters, looking for AEW, looking for Star Wars. 
There's a list, guys. Let's go get it. Also, pee break. It's time. All right, diving on in. We got ourselves a Triceratops immediately. A bunch more Triceratops. A bunch of Dino Boys down here. One Ragnarok. Ooh, do you have some Micro Squadron? Any Chasey Boys for me? We're not stopping until we find one. I just want one. That's it. That's how I know I will be satisfied. Got some Imperial Death Troopers up here. Got some Cosca Reeves, some Migs, uh, some Cosca, some Saw Guerreras. A nice little stack of them. Over to Sing, some Landos, some Tikas, uh, AEW's got a bunch of Bird Bakers, John Silver, some Dark Order Wave, bunch of Canes, X Pac, McIntyre. There's a Royal Rumble Earthquake, which is random to see. I have not seen these in a little while. Wilson, North Carolina, coming in clutch. Got our Mr. T's, got our Hogan's, uh, some Lola's. There is a couple Falcons, but I don't see too, too much else here. Let's slide over to the other aisle, see what's going on over there. All right, dropping into this aisle over here. We do have a red cog. It's the first I've seen that. It's kind of fun. What else we got in here? Uh, we got ourselves a little pink ranger action. Armored Batman. Uh, it says $5.99. I might scan that. If that's $5.99, I might pick him up. Uh, what do we got down here? We got our G.I. Joe reaction. We got our movie Joes, of course. We got Sabretooth. A couple Black Panther legacy figures. None of the new windowless Marvel Legends yet here. Uh, I've only seen them in a few places, so I'm not surprised. There's another armored Batman. There's a gore. More armored Batman. Hazmat suit. Ragnarok. Uh, see a few things. There's a Black Knight Killmonger. Got a pins. Nothing crazy. Let's slide down to NECA Collect. We'll see what's going on. I'm also going to scan this guy. See how much he brings up. But first, NECA. All right, over here, NECA Collectibles. First impressions, I don't see anything. Uh, looks to be a lot of the same old same. Got a Throg. Don't see any NECA TMNT. Uh, actually, I take that back. I do see uh, Pizza Monsters, Chrome Dome. I do not see any of the Universal Monsters ones, though. There's Page Puncher right here. What is that one? It's the Batman. That's cool. Someone's tucked that one away for later. It's Pokemon Go, ETBs. Uh, he Who Remains. We talked about him in the last video. This is Jerry Lawler. It's the first time seeing that Funko. That's cool. Uh, 11 in the Rainbow Room. That's kind of new for me as well. It's a cool Stranger Things Pops. There's some Bronx, some Demonas over here. Uh, I don't really see too much else, though. I did see those SH Figure Arts Star Wars figures at the last Target for 80 bucks. Those were kind of cool to see in person. Way out of my price range. Uh, definitely not paying that for those. But I don't really see too much, honestly. There's a little clearance pile here. We got an Arkham Knight figure. I have not seen that one. That one's kind of cool. We might scan him and see what he rings up. He's a little crispy. We'll, we'll just see. It doesn't hurt to check. Do you see our Princess Bride figures? Some Pokemon stuff. This is a bunch of a hodgepodge of garbage thrown in a pile. But I really don't see too much else. There's some Gunpla kits down here. Everything seems to be opened or damaged. And uh, that's not how I live my life. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. We're going to scan these things, make one last pass around, maybe check under some shelves, and then I'm getting out of here. I'm going to try to make my way up to D.C. by 6 o'clock today. Got a lot of ground to cover and not much time. You guys know it. See you soon. All right, guys. We've been on the road for a couple more hours. We're currently in Petersburg, West Virginia. No, no. Not West Virginia. We're in Virginia. I don't even know where I am. I've been driving so long. We just passed Richmond. I think we're in Petersburg, Virginia. I don't know. One of those uh, random interstate towns that you guys find when you're going on long trips, you know? But we're at Walmart. Uh, Target's right there next door. Gonna go to this Walmart first. Looks for some AEW. Uh, it's Walmart exclusive AEW specifically. And then just see what else is here. Maybe we'll find something good. Maybe we'll find Black Noir finally. Uh, going in. See you guys inside. I'm tired. All right, guys. Dropping in. Got our Five Nights at Freddy's. Got our Hot Wheels section over here. Gonna just pan right by there. We got some stuff to look for. Where are these action figures at? Oh, sorry guys. All right, found a little section here. Uh, first things first, we got our Marvel Legends up here. We got our Eternals, our Sabretooth, Siren, Bone Breaker Wave. Got some GI Joes here. We got Flint, Lady J, Cobra Commander. Dinos, Buzz. It looks like this aisle is backwards. We actually need to go to this side of the world down here. Hang on. All right, we actually have a whole stack of Parallax here. One, two, three of them in there. That's kind of cool to see. 
Got our clay face, got a Robin. We have a whole stack of vintage collection, Obi-Wan, little retro boys. Some Leia, some Lando, some Vader. I've never seen that before. That's kind of fun. Not seeing too much else though, honestly. Uh, got some Pokemon cards. Got Chilling Rain, Astral Radiance. There's a new set that actually just came out, Lost Origins, I believe. So you guys be on the lookout for that if you guys are into Pokemon. Uh, Fortnite figures right there. Let's keep going down here though. What do we got in AEW? Do you see, there's a goon. It's been a long time since I've seen a goon figure. And of course, Otis. Uh, I got Ortiz, and a J, and a J, and a J. Stu, 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 Anna. This entire set just sits and sits. And that's such a shame, such talented people. No punk, no hangman, nothing new. Nothing for me, honestly. And that's kind of a bummer. Let's slide back to NECA and see what's going on over there. All right, dropping in. We're over here in the NECA section. We got a Universal Monster, Dracula. We got a Wolfman. We have Raph as Frankenstein's monster. Do not see the Mikey as mummy that I've seen a few of you guys find. Still looking. Do see a thigh log. See some Gundam action. Do see a Batman Beyond PVC statue. That looks awesome. A little Terry McGinnis action for us. That looks great. I've never seen this before. How cool. $45, but cool. Very, very cool. Uh, down here, we got our villains. We got our Q figs. Uh, not seeing too, too much for me, honestly. Still have one more section to take a peek at, though. We have our Saw Mask. Have our dead Doctor Strange. Have some pins here. Uh, the problem with pins is that they just don't stand well, so I'm always afraid I'm just going to knock them down and make the biggest mess. Great looking Funko section. Uh, really, really good Funko section. Not seeing anything that I need. There's a wide, wide variety. A little bit of everything. See our boys Homelander and Starlight. Do not see any Black Noir. I wish. That'd be great. But nah, I think we're good. There's not much here for me, guys. Lots of stuff. If you guys are in the area, come snatch this stuff up. But there's nothing I need. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna slide over to Target real quick. All right, guys, we're next door. There's Target. We're going in. Let's go find some stuff. Petersburg, Virginia. Let's go. I tell you, I can't. I can't begin to explain how common it is for me to find a random tricycle in the middle of the aisle at Target. Like every toy section that I go to, there's a random bike in the middle of the floor. I don't get it. Kids are wild. Let's go find these toys. All right, let's go right into wrestling and Star Wars and see what's good. Got Hogan. Got Mr. T, no Macho Man. Do with that Big E, Anna J, Lance Archer, John Silver, Anna J, Nyla Archer. A couple Tikas. Got our Saul Guerrera, Obi Wan, Galen Urso, Riva Vintage Collection. Got our little guys. Not seeing too much, honestly. I'll slide over to the other side real quick. Let's see what's going on. There's a couple Anthok Merricks there. Do have our Ned and Peter Parker 2 back. Definitely grabbing this today. Ned and Pete have to come home with me. That's a necessity. Yeah. Must have. Got our Black Panthers. Got our Legacy. Got that uh, Bone Breaker Wave. Not seeing too, too much else. Uh, G.I. Joe. We've got some gung-ho. Have our Hush 2 back. Our Joker Titan. Do have Batman hanging up. Little Superman behind him. Page Puncher. Martian Manhunter, we got Dark Detective. Got our Black Adam 375 stuff. Not really seeing too much else though. Got our squadron here, Millennium Falcon, some Lego. Let's go over to NECA Collectible, see if we can't find that Leonardo as Hunchback or any other the NECA TMNT that we're looking for. All right, all right. I do see Kate Bishop Blacklight with Pizza Dog. That's great, a little lucky representation. Pan's Labyrinth, Wolfman, got that, look at this restock down here. All of this NECA TMNT, none of it is what we need. <sighs> that is a bunch, but it's not what I'm looking for. There's a few Demonas over there. King Kong, Gremlins, Wolfman, they live. Pan's Labyrinth, McCready, uh, Catwoman for Channel 6, a bunch of Jason Voorhees. Yeah, nothing I need. Nothing I need. Bunch of Killmonger what if. Those are going to go in clearance for sure. 
Yep, not too much. I think we're gonna end up uh, getting out of here without too much. We are gonna grab this though. Marvel Legend 2 pack, that's a must. But everything else looks kinda beat. Let's keep looking. All right, I have to call attention to this, guys. Normally when I'm at stores, I check under the shelves, something like the panels that aren't too full, I check underneath. And normally I find some older figures, a little bit of theft here and there, like shady stuff, you know? This store is the most ridiculous store I've ever seen. Every panel, nothing but theft. And it just, it makes me mad. Like, just that kind of thing rubs me wrong. Check this out. All right, so obviously I check this one. It's kind of low. There's not much on it at all. We take it, we lift it up. Look at that. Batcave, Mr. Freeze, Obi-Wan stolen, posters hidden. More Batcave, there's something like under there. Ugh, just disgusting. I'm gonna go over here. I have not checked this one yet, so we're gonna slide these woodies over just a little. Let's have a look. Look at this. There's a road dog right here. More Mr. Freeze. X-Pac. Oh my god. That's wild. I kind of want to check this one too, but there's so much on this shelf. Let me move some things. And by the way, I will put all this stuff back up when I'm done. I'm not going to leave it a big mess, but... Look at that. All right, nothing under that one. But those other two shelves, just those two. I've checked four shelves, and at least two of them have just been buried with stuff. Like, so much stuff underneath, stolen, hidden. Every target I go to has a little bit of that. And this one has absolutely been the worst one. I checked two shelves over here and it was the same story tons of stuff underneath that shelf right there doesn't have very much so we're probably gonna check there as well we're gonna slide these marvel kits out of the way these marvel lego kits all right this one's actually stuck on something hang on all right let's have a look at this one down here with the falcon let's move this stuff over real quick nope so it seems just to be the action figure section that is the issue. Tons of stuff underneath this section. Tons and tons. All right, we're at another one. Demon Slayer manga tucked underneath. This one right here was another one that I found a few minutes ago. This is what actually inspired me to record. I lift this up. Look at all that. Absolutely wild. This target's crazy. Theft must be through the roof at this joint. Oof, I wanna check this shelf as well. I might do that real quick. Actually, I just realized that I've lifted like 13 shelves here. That's probably too many. I gotta get out of here before they come asking me questions about what I'm doing, but isn't that crazy? What, do you guys have experience with that? Do you see any of that where you are? That kind of thing drives me nuts. Normally I find a figure or two. Uh, when I start finding like entire panels full of stolen figures and boxes and stash stuff, wild. A right. bunch of animals out here. That had to be every bit of $900 worth of stolen and hidden merchandise. I'm here in Colonial Heights, Virginia. That's the craziest undershell find I've ever found. So much hidden stuff, so much stolen stuff, huge value. Stuff like that just blows my mind. Moving on. All right, guys, we're next door. There's Target. We're going in. Let's go find some stuff. Petersburg, Virginia. Let's go. Normally when I'm at stores, I check under the shelves. Something like the panels that aren't too full, I check underneath. And normally I find some older figures, a little bit of theft here and there, like shady stuff, you know? This store is the most ridiculous store I've ever seen. Every panel, nothing but theft. And it just, it makes me mad. Like, just that kind of thing rubs me wrong. Check this out. All right, so obviously I check this one. It's kind of low. There's not much on it at all. We take it, we lift it up. Look at that. Batcave, Mr. Freeze, Obi-Wan stolen, posters hidden. More Batcave, there's something like under there. Ugh, just disgusting. I'm gonna go over here. I have not checked this one yet, so we're gonna slide these woodies over just a little. Let's have a look. Look at this. There's a road dog right here. More Mr. Freeze. X-Pac. Oh my god. That's wild. I kinda wanna check this one too, but there's so much on this shelf. Let me move some things. And by the way, I will put all this stuff back up when I'm done. I'm not going to leave it a big mess, but look at that. All right, nothing under that one. But those other two shelves, just those two. I've checked four shelves, and at least two of them have just been buried with stuff. Like, so much stuff underneath, stolen, hidden. 
Every Target I go to has a little bit of that. And this one has absolutely been the worst one. I checked two shelves over here and it was the same story. All right, we're at another one. Demon Slayer manga, tucked underneath. This one right here was another one that I found a few minutes ago. This is what actually inspired me to record. I lift this up. Look at all that. Absolutely wild. This target's crazy. Theft must be through the roof at this joint. Oof, I want to check this shelf as well. I might do that real quick. Actually, I just realized that I've lifted like 13 shelves here. That's probably too many. I got to get out of here before they come asking me questions about what I'm doing. But isn't that crazy? What, do you guys have experience with that? Do you see any of that where you are? That kind of thing drives me nuts. Normally I find a figure or two. Uh, when I start finding like entire panels full of stolen figures and boxes and stash stuff, wild. A uh, bunch of animals out here. That had to be every bit of $900 worth of stolen and hidden merchandise. I'm here in Colonial Heights, Virginia. That's the craziest undershell find I've ever found. So much hidden stuff, so much stolen stuff huge value stuff like that just blows my mind moving on all right guys sleeping collectibles and space buns actually space buns is down there we're in dulles virginia uh at target where else would i be uh we stayed the night at a hotel i didn't want to drive all the way home so we're gonna hit up the local fair some target some walmarts we're gonna go to the mall for a little bit still looking for the same things i've always been looking for looking for halloween decorations looking for those spookies, spookies. <laughs> all right let's go in that was done all right, we're going in, guys. I found the toy section, and it is a mess. Oof, someone's got some work to do here. Let's have a pizza. Ooh, there's a little wrestling section. What do we got over here? Uh, we got Batista, Hogan, Mr. T. <sighs> Sigh, that's all I got for you. Do you have Painmaker Jericho? Two Painmaker Jerichos? Got an Orange Cassidy, got Chuck Taylor, another Orange Cassidy, Chris Statlander. And then our normal peg warmers. Hey, there's a WrestleMania China back there. I thought that figure was like given away a while back. Lapras, I'm not seeing a ton, honestly. Still looking for those NECA Universal Monsters figures. I'm gonna go over to NECA and have a look at that here in a second. I will slide over to DC and Marvel real quick. Transformer land, if I can ever find where it is. Here it is. What's over here? Bunch of Vulcans, some Sirens, some Sabretooth, Spider-Man 2099, got our Page Punchers, we got our Superwoman, got our Gold Label, somebody stacking up figures nice and neat, G.I. Joe, this is Movie Joe's, there's another Chris Statlander down here randomly, and then there's a Reckoning and a Luger back there as well, uh, but I don't see anything we really need, let's go over to NECA, let's go have a peek, maybe we'll find that monster we're looking for, alright, I did find the Star Wars section, it's not very big. We got some Tika, got some Morris Singh. Of course, we got a Lando or three. That's normally how things work around here. Now I gotta track down where the Marvel sec or the NECA section is. I'm back. All right, I found it, and it's right underneath these giant TVs. Of course, it is. Probably really, really loud for you guys. I apologize. See your Moon Knight. See your Tim Murphy. See your Doctor Strange. Got some Throg. Some Dude Love. Ooh, have mercy. Halloween thing. We got our Karloff Ultimate Mummy, Ultimate Ash. We got NECA TMNT, but not the NECA TMNT that I'm looking for. Do have our Groot comic cover, Gremlins or Terminator, Predator. We got our Misfit. We got our Fiend. But we do not have Universal Monster TMNT. I'm going to look around a little bit and I will let. You know what I find. All right, guys, here in Dulles, Virginia, lifting up panels, and I found some interesting finds. Check this out, guys. This right here is my favorite. There's something under here that I want. Underneath here is a Reva Black Series. It's also Jurassic World Dominion on DVD. We're gonna leave that there, because I don't care. But I've been looking for Reva, and I will gladly take her. That is 100% coming home with me. Let's keep going. Keep keep watching got more of these undershelf finds to show you some ridiculous ones here all right over here another undershelf find a ridiculous one movie gi joe sealed to the floor nobody likes this why is it hidden so what is that up there hot wheels pulling those out 
Got some Hot Wheels car cultures. Two of them. Don't know if those are worth anything, but they're there. Let's keep looking. All right, here's another one over here. Found this. Anything. Another car culture team transports. Leave that on the shelf. Let's keep looking. There's something under there too. Uh, another one. Oh. Oh, there's a lot in there. Halo. There's a Halo figure under there. And we just found a Sideswipe Studio Series 78. Another one. Wow. All right, one more. I just found one more, dude. One more right underneath here, and it's probably my favorite find of the day. Look at that. Another one of those car cultures here. But this is a treasure hunt. Collectible treasure hunt Hot Wheels. Dulles, Virginia, guys. So we found Star Wars Black Series. We found at least four of those Skyline sets. We found this one, which I think I might buy. And we found this treasure hunt. And then everything else that was down there. Check under your shelves. You guys are missing out on people's stashes. You want the good toys. That's where they are. Let's go. All right, last one before I get out of here. Some car culture Hot Wheels from 2019 and a ton of tech decks. Like every shelf I lift here, there's tons of Hot Wheels, tons of tech decks, Star Wars, under shelves. The reason why there's no toys up here it's because they're under here. Wild. All right, one more. I lied. I took all these dinosaurs down and lifted this one up. This guy had a feeling, and that is super stuck to the floor. See that? That's Scavenger Series, or Leader Series Scavenger. I can't even get that up. That's been there a very long time. It's a $50, $60 transformer under the shelf and it'll probably stay there for a long time no one's getting that up it is waxed to the floor permanently more toys under than over dulles virginia guys also i just realized that i've been calling this place dulles virginia it's actually ashburn virginia <laughs> dulles airport just happens to be here i don't live here i don't know these things but we're leaving taking that black series and those two hot wheels uh those were yours i'm sorry they're mine now let's go all right, space buns and sleeping near to another target. I don't know where we are. Somewhere between Chantilly, Ashford, Virginia. I don't know, one of those targets. It looks like this. I'm sure Gary's Grails knows what this target is. Gary, if you're watching, tell me in the comment, what is this target? We're going in, looking for the same things. Looking for that, there's NECA TMNT, Universal Monsters. I just saw Creeper Clay found a bunch of them. Where's mine at? Hopefully in here. All right, guys, we found that toy section pretty quick. It's in a weird spot here, I'm not gonna lie. But it was right in front of the door. And we have, well, not much immediately. A bunch of Hulk Hogan's, Mr. T's, some Kane's, some Luger's, some Reckoning. There's a Bailey, Tika. Oof, AEW's just peggy stuff. We do have that Vader, Obi-Wan figure, we do like that one. Uh, Costco Reeves, Ahsoka, normal business. I have one X-Wing down here. I don't see too awful much here, honestly, already. Oof. Let's, Evil Dead. Do have that. Power Rangers. Uh, down here, we have some more Funko Pop goodness. We got our Thor Love and Thunder. We have a Maggot. We have our Black Panther Legacy Series and Bakus. Uh, down here is Michael Man. We got oh, we got the Rock Black Adam. I really like this figure a lot. I think it looks phenomenal. One of the better ones that I've seen in a long, long time. Got some Transformers and some Adam Smasher. Uh, not seeing too much else. These shelves are looking awfully clear though. I might pull a couple panels, see if there's anything interesting underneath. We've got our Groot. Do not see any Mecha section at all in this joint though. That concerns me. So I would really like to find Universal Monsters. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna we're gonna come up with something. Oh, there's a little NECA over here. Uh, we got Screw Loose, Rat King Vernon. Uh, not much. There has to be a bigger NECA section than this, right? Like this can't be the entire thing. I'm gonna look around. We're gonna find it. 
Uh, I'll check back with you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, we found it. The collector spot. It's here in the corner. No, it's a good selection of horror figures here. Holy cow. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for that NECA TMNT. That NECA TMNT goodness is what we're here for. And we have a metalhead down there. But... I'm not seeing anything else at all. No Leos, no Donnies. No Mikeys, no Aprils. What's up with that? Nothing at all. All right, I'm gonna dig in a little bit. I'm gonna look around. There has to be something somewhere. I'm like 0 for 6 on targets for these neck Universal Monsters right now. No dice. No dice at all. Sorry. Looks like we're going to more targets. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, how about we make one last stop on the old toy train? We're in Frederick, Maryland, about an hour from where I live. I'm gonna go in, gonna go look for those figures. Still looking for that Usagi TMNT. Looking for those uh, TMNT Universal Monsters figures. Looking for new AEW. Looking for my bed for a nice comfy nap. Probably not finding it in here. But we're going in anyway. We got some stuff to look for. Last stop of the day, guys. Let's find something. All right, dropping into the toy section here. Oof. Okay, let's, let's digest. Hogan, Mr. T, Kane, Sheeta, Hager. I'm surprised that Hager's still there, honestly. The figure's so old now. Luger, Scarlet, Reckoning. There's a lot going on here. Do you see our Leia, our Antok? We got Tika, of course they do. Huge stack of vintage collection here. A lot of Costco, a lot of Migs. It is really two whole pegs of Costco though. That's a peg warmer. Oh, we do have these boys. Any chases for me? That would be uh, glorious. No, no, and no, no chases. Uh, 12 dollars though. That's kind of cool. Price drop already on these. That's cool to see. Uh, I got our dinos down here. Our triceratopses. Normal fare. Nothing too, too crazy. Nothing worth reporting home about. It's Raquel Gonzalez and Ricky Steamboat here. Uh, not a whole lot happening. There's a Ragnarok. There's a... We have a Naki up there. We have a Vulcan. We have Wolverine. We don't have any of the... Ooh! This is my first time seeing these Spider-Man helmets in Target. Now, I've seen these at other places, but not at Target. That's cool. I dig that. 124 is a bit much. And there's a space here for the Black Panther helmet as well, which is not here currently. That is a tough one to find. Uh, that Black Panther helmet went for a pretty penny before the re-release. All right. I don't see much here. I'm going to go over to NECA. Hopefully find some of these new turtle goodness. All right, guys, huge TV set above me, playing loud music. Yeah, it's okay music. I don't hate it. What do we got? Got some Halloween, some Evil Dead, some Predator, some Nightmare on Elm Street, all the good horror figures, but we're not here for horror. We are here for NECA TMNT, and there is none at all. Another bust. Man, we've been to like 11 targets this week and haven't found any of them. What a slow rollout hate it. Alright, I'm gonna wander around see if I can't find something else. And then we'll probably get out of here for the day. Go home. Get some food. I'll see you guys here in a few. A little something of note. Uh, the WWE Legends figures are down to $16.49. $5.50 off. Those are kind of cool to see. So they've already started to be marked down. So keep an eye on them. These will eventually drop down to about $6 each. So something to keep an eye on. First markdown. Let's see if we can't find anything else. What's up, guys? Sleeping Collectibles. Back home. Back in the toy room. Back with a giant pile of stuff. I wish you guys could see the floor in this room. Like, there's maybe six square feet of it not covered in toys and boxes of toys. I really need to just take some time and, like, organize and clean and structure this. And it's been a busy month. There's a lot going on. I need a haircut, too. Uh, tons of stuff. We're back home from the beach. We had a nice vacation with the bros. Bought way too many toys. Uh, I'm here to show them off. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start. Let's just start. Got this Reva under the shelf in somewhere in Virginia. I don't even remember now. You guys saw me find it. Somebody was hiding it for later. I took it. It's mine now. Deal with it. My Reva. Uh, also picked up two Hot Wheels while I was there. Grabbed this one. Uh, I like the Skyline Transport Kit a lot. And then Treasure Hunt Dodge also came home with me. So, 
we got some toys from under the shelves at Target. Somebody stashed that just so happens to be mine now. We also picked up a, well, if I can get it out of the bag. We got our Thor comic cover, Walmart exclusive. Adding this to the comic cover collection that sits over there. I have a uh, table underneath my television over here. This is lined with comic covers. I'll have to show you guys sometime. While we were out, we also ended up getting our Page Punchers, John Constantine. I've been looking everywhere for this thing, so really excited that I can put him on the shelf finally. We need more Constantine things. I'm a big Constantine fan in the comic books. Uh, I like the Constantine movie. I really wish we'd get another one. Uh, I want more John Constantine in media. Big fan. Found this under the shelf as well. Little Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's awful that half of my toys were somebody else's stash, but that's life. Got that Miles Morales. I think that's my second or third one without, honestly. Off camera this trip, I actually finally picked up my Blacklight Scarlet Witch Funko Pop. Uh, I really like the Blacklight Marvel ones, and I'm ecstatic, ecstatic to have found Wanda. I've had this in my hand a couple weeks ago, and the Target employee took it out of my hand because it was street dated. So, ain't no street date now. Mine. Excited. Happy. What else? What else? What else? Ah. We found this polka dot man hidden behind some Funko Pops uh, in North Carolina. I actually took it to the register, explained that it was on clearance at one time, and that it was salvaged. It's out of the system now. And we ended up making a deal to get this for $5. So this figure came home with me four or five bucks, which is an absolute steal. Also, I still laugh at that sticker polka dot man right there. For those that don't know, this box actually has something different printed under here. And to fix it, they just put a sticker over top that said polka dot man. That cracks me up. I think it says peacemaker or bloodshot or I don't know. I don't remember what it says, but I think that's funny. We also, while we're doing this, I think this was also off camera, actually. Uh, I actually picked up a Thor, Love and Thunder, Ravager Thor, on clearance for $11. I don't know if you guys can see it there. I'm going to take that sticker off. I like this wave. I know a lot of people are kind of soft on Thor, Love and Thunder, and they're not big fans of the figures, but I'm all about them. Especially if I can get them for clearance, all day long I will purchase these figures. When they go to $6, I will buy up every single one that I can find. So if I live in your area and you want these figures and you see them on sale, I would buy them before I get to them because I will take them. And Target stickers are the worst to get off. They leave some of the worst residue. All right, one more bag of stuff. One more thing. We also picked up, and this might be my favorite pickup of the week. We ended up getting that Peter Parker, Ned Leeds, Spider-Man two pack. I love this. I love Ned. Ned's one of my favorite MCU sidekicks. Uh, just a ton of fun as a character. That scene with the Death Stars, top five Marvel moments for me. Love it. This is so cool for me. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I enjoyed my vacation. I came back feeling recharged. I'm ready to go. Bursting with energy. I'm going to clean this room. I'm going to get stuff together. We're going to have live streams. We're going to have fun. We're going to do cool things. Uh, we're just getting started, guys. Let's do this thing. Until next time, good night. Sleep tight. I hope all your collecting dreams come true. Later days. See you soon. Also, as a little bonus, a little post-credit scene, we also just got this Dark Trooper in the mail. Big bad toy store coming in clutch. Let's go. See you soon, guys. Have a good night.